what's up guys Eisenheim here so this is um, Falcon Punch model um, as you can see it doesn't jitter just like this is Falcon Punch model on a, on a C2 so as you can see it doesn't jitter the um, the uh, what you call this the wheel unlike the nuclear model um, so basically this one I so I, I enabled um, LQR on this one um, using OP edit uh, by Shane um, as you can see it's it's very good it's buttery smooth it's not as planted as the um, as the uh, nuclear model, a nuclear grade, but uh, it's way better than the um, OA-12 model. Um, as you can see here. Um, so now I'm gonna test, I'm gonna test the, um, my lane placement with my, uh, with my, uh, with my yaw adjuster here. So right now it's um, let me see it's off. Uh, it's kind of like a little follow there. Um, so right now it's center uh, off center to the left. Okay. Um, here in the merging, it's a smooth. Okay, compared to the nuclear model, nuclear grade, the merging is smooth. Right now it's, sent, it's off center to the left a little bit. Um, okay, we're coming to a curve right now. So this is my first test of the curve. So we're doing 70. So I might need to help it because there's a car on, on my left side. I don't want to take chance. Okay. So. So at 70. It's not as good as nuclear model or nuclear grade, but um, it's good enough um, because the drive is very buttery smooth. It's very, it's very smooth. So we're doing 68 right now. not even eating the left line, left line center and my offset is 13 0. Point, uh, 0. 0.13 uh, with a centered camera okay uh, I don't know if the offset works or not so um, I'm gonna find out now so right now so I'm centered right now off center to the, a little bit to the left off center so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the yaw uh, so, um, here we go. So right now it's hugging to the right, as you can see on the screen. I'll do some more. Let's see if it's, um, if it keeps it. Hopefully it does. Okay, it's a car beside me. saying nuclear grade is good when it comes to curve but the thing is I do get jitters on my wheel although I mean from the get-go and I can tell my MPC it's um, it's moving it's, the MPC is jittery so maybe um, I need another version um, the version that I'm using it's uh, it's making the jitters Put my uh, Tesla sound, and I'm 
I'm using a um, color speaker. So far, so good. It's keeping, it's keeping the, it's keeping the hugging. Okay, it's keeping the hugging. So let's drive more. Hey guys, man, I think I, I wasted like half a tank of gas testing this one for the past two days. I don't know. Once I'm in a, once I'm in a roll, I'm, I'm in a roll, man. It's fun. Um, it's fun. So okay, let's see. So I'm gonna drive a few more miles. Let's see if it, if if we can keep the the lane placement. Keeping it, guys. It's keeping it. Thank God. So offset works, um, and the yaw works for for your car placement. Okay. So right now I'm at 68. I'm gonna help it out. 67. 66. 't bad not bad what I'm saying is um, if I weigh it with nuclear grade right now because I'm limited because I don't know how to um, I don't know how to code so that's why I'm just I'm dependent to people with you know with the safe version of the, uh, the, the nuclear model so I'm just wait for people so right now uh, Jordan was kind enough to share his fork to me okay and I'm very happy for Jordan you know for sharing the fork I'm so glad um, I really like this community very it's very helpful okay so I'm doing gas press um, since my head is on the left side I don't want to be blocking the thing so that's how I uh, that's how I reset the um, the uh, let me lo let me just lower my uh, my uh, set cruise. Yeah, I just want to test the um, the lane placement. And here's another big turn here. It's nice. See. It's very chill and see there's no stair step on the wheel compared to nuclear or gray yeah falcon punch it's very good um, and if you just want to drive chill um, this is good enough because it's way better um, it's way better than 0812 I don't know about in the morning though I don't, I don't know because this is my second day and it's at night, so I don't know. Um, so we ha I have to find that out. Uh, but for now, uh, the drive is buttery smooth and it's keeping my, uh, my right hug. Why you say right hug? Why you like right hug, Mr. Eisenheim? Okay, for one thing, um, I don't know. I'm, I drive like a grandpa now, so I'm not in a hurry when, it, when I go to work. I leave early because I want to drive chill. So usually I just stay on the right lane, okay? I just stay on the right lane. What are the benefits of staying in the right lane? First of all, you don't have to worry about cars on your right side because there's no car on your right side, okay? So you don't have to worry. Um, you just worry, you just worry about the merging, and it keeps you alert. Um, what else? And you get ample space on your left side. Once you get that bias going, once you get that lane hugging to the right, going, you got 
plenty of space to the left. You don't have to worry about cars on the left. You know, especially if there's a big rig, you can plan on space because you're, you're, you're pretty much, you can make it hug the right line. Okay? Let's see what happened here. It's, it's, uh, I'm not sure if it's, uh, right now doing 72 and very smooth guys very smooth it's really good um, few more miles um, see if it keeps the uh, okay so now it seems to calibrate okay so Okay, right now, okay, my max. Okay, I'm gonna go. So right now, I think I'm pretty much sure my my yo is around two or one. Okay, what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna max it to three. The limit is four, so I'm gonna max it to three. Okay. So now. So I'm really hugging the right lane. So I'm gonna drive for a few more miles, maybe two minutes worth, three minutes, five minutes worth. Let's see if it, if it can keep it. Hugging 
just for that route I'm happy okay because on the Bay Bridge I'm gonna be I'm gonna be staying on the left on the left side and then from then on it's gonna be surface street but from my work to all the way to Berkeley from my house all the way to Berkeley that's around 15 minute drive I, I want to stay on the right lane okay I want to stay on the right lane so right now so far it's still hugging okay so so I hope when I come back one more it keeps hugging so that's good enough for me that it doesn't I'm wondering if you put the maximum, if you to put the three instead of the two, three degree yaw, probably it prevents it from it prevents it from calibrating. That's what I'm thinking. Um, because if it ex we'll find out. Uh, so if it's keep if it keeps hugging on my way back home, I'm satisfied enough. This is this is gonna be my um, this is gonna be my uh, my daily driver. Okay, it's gonna be my daily driver. to the right, big, you know, still buys to the right, which is in my life. Now it's calibrating that. So, okay. I have to find out I need to find out how to stop it from calibrating, or at least, um, or at least, uh, what you call this? Uh, have it calibrate every so often. I think from what I heard is um, it's uh, every two minutes. Guys, if you know anything about it, uh, let me know in the comments section. Okay, because right now my car is centered. My car is centered. Okay. So it does calibrate. But it takes a while. It takes a while for it to calibrate. Um, so this right now, as you can see, it's... Anyway, hey, that's good enough. Um, I got. Let me see if I can do it. Wait. I can still. I think this is the three degree. Yeah, so it's hugging right now again. Yeah, it takes a while to calibrate. Uh, but, um, yeah, see, I'm, I'm keeping my hug right now. So, I got, I got three times. So, from zero, if I turn it, so every degree, so every degree, um, so every degree, uh, I can make it hug. So one degree, okay. So from zero to one, it will hug. Okay, once it calibrates, um, I'm gonna go to, to from one to two degree. So once it calibrates, I'm gonna from two to three. Okay, so, because right now I'm hugging, I'm hugging to the right. At a three degree, uh, yeah. That's good enough. 
but it does calibrate guys so no matter how um, if you're within specification if you don't get if you don't get a remount message you know it's remount what have you um, your car will drive good the game will calibrate With my fork, um, so I have the recalibration, the calibration parameters deleted every hour. So every time you drive, um, since you know work route is about an hour or so, um, so you get to. Um, Start fresh um, on your work route. But I find it helpful uh, if you could recalibrate. The drive's better for me. Um, whatever it is. So that's it, guys. Yeah, this is Falcon Punch. It's very good, very smooth, buttery stuff. Thanks for watching my videos.